This is the second video in the series titled, Scientists Are Stupid. Scientists are stupid. Scientists will either overlook, they will refuse to accept, or they will refuse to even consider the most obvious and common sense things. Many scientists feel they should not bother talking to someone who is not a scientist, nor should they bother considering any idea that does not originate with a scientist. Everyone has the right to do what they want. If scientists want to be stupid, that is their choice to make. Except for one problem. The job of the scientist is the public good. According to Happy Theory, the stupidity of scientists is so great that it poses a danger to the public good. This series of videos is dedicated to correcting the stupidity that scientists have told the public to believe. Hopefully, the embarrassment scientists might feel at their stupidity being corrected in front of the entire world will motivate them to open their minds and perhaps motivate them to be more willing to listen to people and ideas they would normally refuse to listen to in the hopes that they might be able to correct their stupidity. With that introduction, the subject of this video can begin. The subject of this video is the physical symmetry of the human body and its relationship to the health of the human body. In the year 2007, Western science and medicine do not place any particular emphasis on the relationship between the physical symmetry of the human body and the health of a human body. There have been a few scientific studies released that touch on the subject of the physical symmetry of the human body in relation to various health problems. According to Happy Theory, there is a direct relationship between the physical symmetry of the human body and the state of health of the human body. According to Happy Theory, a health problem within the human body can cause the body to become physically asymmetric. The physical asymmetry of the external body, caused by an internal health problem, can be so severe that the physical asymmetry of the body is obvious to the naked eye. According to Happy Theory, specific patterns of physical asymmetry of the human body are associated with specific health problems. This property of the human body can be used to diagnose any of the health problems that produce a specific pattern of physical asymmetry in the human body. A person who is familiar with the typical patterns of physical asymmetry of the human body caused by a specific health problem can tell by a simple visual inspection of the outside of the body what type of health problems are likely to be affecting a particular human being. It can be very difficult for some people to accept that the diagnosis of an internal health problem can be made by a visual inspection of the outside of a human body. In fact, many scientists and doctors have made public statements that the diagnosis of internal health problems by visual inspection of the outside of the human body is not possible. In addition to internal health problems causing a human body to become physically asymmetric, according to Happy Theory, the human body can also be forced into a state of physical asymmetry by external stimuli. If the human body is forced to become physically asymmetric in reaction to some external stimulus, the forced physical asymmetry of the body can cause health problems to develop. The reason why physical asymmetry of the human body can cause health problems to develop is trivial. So trivial that the reason had to be made into a video for the Scientists Are Stupid series. Here is a picture of a model human body. A line is drawn down the vertical center line of the body, which separates the body into identical right and left halves. This model human body is symmetric because the right and left halves of the body are identical. A physically asymmetric human body will look as if some area on one side of the body is smaller than the same area on the other side of the body. To make the demonstration of physical asymmetry of the human body obvious, one entire side of the model human body will be made smaller, as shown in this picture. It is obvious common sense that this human body would experience some kind of negative health effect if the left side of the body was reduced in size by the amount shown in the picture. According to Happy Theory, the same type of obvious health problems that would occur if the left side of the body was made as small as it is in this picture will also occur if any part of the body is reduced in size by any amount. 
For some reason, scientists and medical people cannot reach the obvious conclusion presented by this picture. It is common sense that a part of the body designed to be a particular size would not function properly if it was made smaller than it was designed to be. In order to help the stupid scientists and medical people out, the demonstration of how physical asymmetry of the human body can negatively affect the health of the human body will be made even more obvious. Here is a cutaway picture of the torso of a human body. This picture reveals the internal organs of the body such as the lungs, the heart, the liver, and the stomach. The body in this picture will be treated as if it is physically symmetric, meaning the right and left halves of the body are physically identical. To make the body in this picture physically asymmetric, the left side of the body will be reduced in size as shown in this picture. Here is a picture comparing the asymmetric body to the symmetric body. The left lung in the asymmetric body is clearly smaller than it was. The left side of the liver in the asymmetric body is clearly smaller than it was. The stomach in the asymmetric body is clearly smaller than it was. The heart in the asymmetric body is clearly smaller than it was. According to Happy Theory, this picture of the smaller heart in the asymmetric body shows one of the major causes of heart attack. Medical people will treat heart problems with drugs, etc. According to this picture, medical people are stupid. Instead of giving people drugs for their heart problems, medical people should do something that returns the physically asymmetric body to its proper, physically symmetric state so the heart can return to its normal size. But scientists and medical people are stupid. This video makes that pretty clear, doesn't it? If you and I can see that physical asymmetry of the human body will crush the internal organs and other material inside of the body, causing them to malfunction in some way, then the only reason that scientists and medical people cannot see it is that they must be stupid. What other reason could there be?